I'm going to move on now to show you how to enforce a regular ticking small delta t clock to be used for physics simulations. And I'll also show you why it's important to do this. We're going to base our work now upon the variable delta t tutorials we completed. And we're going to copy and paste the code we've ended up with in tutorial 52 as our starting point. If we look at our app roadmap, there'll be a few ways that we can approach this problem. So we're going to create three more game loop activities. We're going to copy game loop activity 001 across and start working on it to create a base. Here's the game loop activity 002. It's exactly the same as game loop 001, but uh, cut and paste it and make sure you change all the ones to twos and do the same thing with your layout file. And also in the manifest, make sure you set the screen orientation as portrait for your 002 game loop activity. And I'll just hit save at that point. If you go back into your activity game loop 002, we're not going to do the rotating circles. We're going to do something completely different. So we're going to remove anything that's related to the moving circles. This line can go. Let's just delete that. We won't need these either. And under the constructor angle and radians, don't need we don't need this. We'll need the rest of this. We'll need the background and the surface holder. And also the frame times, we'll keep that. Now if we go back in down to our main run method, uh you can see the game loop, nothing, nothing will change in here. The game loop is solid. Once you've created it, you won't have to change it. So we've got nothing in here that does any calculating directly. I'll just scroll down that. There's our delta T calculation. There's our sleep. End sleep and uh, end the game loop. Our update function, well, we no longer need to calculate any angles, so all of this can go. That's now your update function. Draw, well, at the moment, all I want to see is the background, so we can remove anything related to circles again. And all you need at the moment is your canvas locking background drawing and unlocking the canvas posting it. Paintbrushes, that can stay as it is. We'll need those paintbrushes. Pixel converter, still need to convert from density pixels to device pixels, that can stay. The pause and resume functions, here they are, they can also stay. And I also created a statistics method. We'll keep that in then, we'll add to that. It's nice to see uh, an output in the log file of what our variables are doing. And let's hit save and run and see what we've got. You'll notice that I've already created these new thumbnail images for uh, game loop. Well, we've got the game loop 001, this one's for 002, 3 and 4. And let's see how our game loop 002 looks like. That's all I wanted. We've got the background. Let's hit toggle, portrait mode, uh, landscape mode. And what we're uh, going to do is create a mini game. I'm just going to shoot the ball out of a cannon and trace it across. And then we'll use that to analyze the effects of having a regular small delta T clock and not having one. And we'll continue this in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.